people. How are you ladies doing today? I hope all of you are doing wonderful. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Michelle, and if you're returning, welcome back. Today I'm here for another segment of my series, A Feminine Impression. And today I want to talk with you ladies about how to heal your divine feminine energy. The divine feminine is that sacred part of us that can only be felt and it transcends culture. It is inherent within you. Once you're able to really channel and tap into your divine energy, it'll help you. It'll allow you to discover all of your strengths and it'll transcend into every area of your life and you'll be able to really live in the moment, make sound and appropriate decisions for yourself and truly value and love the woman that you are. So today I want to share five ways that you can heal that energy, tap into that sacred place within yourself, and really blossom as a woman. So the first way that you can tap into your divine feminine energy is to do nothing. Yes, literally do nothing. Allow yourself to just be and allow that to be okay. As a woman, sometimes we feel like we just always have to be doing something, but there is so much beauty in being still. It allows you to be able to take in your environment, to be able to really enjoy things in a more meaningful way. And that allows you then to be grateful for everything that you have and everything that you experience. I was watching a TED Talks and there was a professor, I believe she was maybe a psychologist, and she was talking about drinking coffee in a masculine way versus in a feminine way. And the way that she described it really helped illustrate how something can be done in two different ways for two different reasons. Maybe for me personally, having a really beautiful cup that I can kind of look at and take in the moment smelling the coffee, um, you know, just drinking it and feeling the warmth of it within my body, maybe going outside and looking around and looking at people or looking in the sky and just taking in the moment, taking in the day, feeling the coldness if it's a cold day and just enjoying all the flavors and the cream and all of that with my coffee and just making it an experience. So that's kind of how she described it in more of a feminine way. And when she described drinking coffee in a masculine way, she talked about just kind of drinking it to be able to get a caffeine kick. You, you just drink it and you go. <laughs> it's for a purpose. Um, it's very intentional. You're not really having a coffee experience. You're just literally drinking the coffee. And so that's what I want to invite you ladies to do is to create moments with your life. Enjoy experiences where you are physically and mentally present. We're always just having our minds running in so many directions that sometimes we just kind of robotically go about life and we don't experience moments. When you learn to do this, you get more value out of your life. You're able to go to events and soak in the moment and really be able to remember it. Remember what it looked like, how you felt, the way it smelled, who was there, what they said, and your present. It also allows you to be able to receive help and accept help from others as a feminine woman, as someone who is really living in their divine feminine spirit. If someone offers to take a load off of you, allow them to. This is a wonderful and special feeling that we as women get to enjoy. You don't have to do everything. It's not to say that you can't do everything because you can, but in doing that, you end up running yourself ragged sometimes. You end up not being able to experience the moment the way that you could have. So practice accepting help from people. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It doesn't make you needy. It is actually a very freeing feeling to know that someone is assisting you. You get to practice gratefulness and put a little love back into that person. It's just a really nice exchange and as women we have to get used to doing that. You don't need to do all of the work. <laughs> Sometimes you really need to do very little work and that actually preserves your life and allows you to live a healthier life and a longer life. So with that being said, this week 
try and allow people to help you and think about what it feels like. It is okay for people to do special things for you. You are worth it. And if you don't realize that, then go back to my last video and practice spending more time with yourself and building yourself up as a person. Now, the second way that you can heal and tap into your divine feminine is by being out in nature. Nature gives life. Nature is planted and blooms. It's nurturing. It's sacred. It's collaborative. It's all of the things that we as women are and are within us. So go out in nature and breathe in the fresh air. Be around trees and beaches. Travel. Go to different places. See what a desert looks like. See what mountains look like. Visit things that are outside of your comfort zone. Allow yourself to really be able to experience all the earth has to offer and feel what it does to your inside. When you're out by the ocean and you're able to just Look at how big and beautiful it is. When you listen to the sounds of the waves, all of your senses are triggered within you. You are renewed as a person. You feel a sense of peace and relaxation. And it's free. It's, it's right outside. You just have to do it. You have to intentionally place yourself in nature. Now, if you're like me, then you're not the biggest like outdoorsy girl and that's fine. You can find ways that are fun and still allow you to be in nature. So you can do things like safari wine tasting where you're out in a safari and you're drinking wine or wine tasting at the beach. Last weekend, I went horseback riding with my family and it was so healing and relaxing. We all had our horses and we did a trail that went up a mountain. They had trails that kind of like led you on the beach where you could see the sun setting and it was so beautiful. I got to be out in nature. It just made me feel special and different. And I placed myself in a different environment for a little bit made myself a little bit uncomfortable, but in a way of discovery where I felt like I was kind of opened up in a different way. Sometimes I go hiking like on a Saturday morning, very early before it gets too hot. A friend and I will go and just do like a really nice, easy, just laid back hike and We'll go take in the views and then just get brunch or something afterwards. And it feels good. Not only are you exercising, but you're socializing and you're out being recharged by Mother Nature. You can also do prayer walks where you walk around your neighborhood or the beach or just somewhere very scenic and you pray and you talk to God and you manifest things, you visualize, you know, you just kind of like embody the earth and plant yourself. It is a beautiful feeling. So intentionally place yourself in nature. And you know, if you can't place yourself in nature, if you live somewhere where that's just not possible right now, then decorate your space in nature. I do that. I don't have any living plants, but I love the look of nature. So I always have plants and flowers and I have little trinkets that sparkle or are symbolic of what the earth looks like and it lifts my spirits when I'm in my space and I see the different textures and I see the green and the plant life it helps to revive my energy and it puts me in a very relaxed and calm state now the third way to heal your divine feminine is to allow yourself to be free Allow yourself to just let go, have fun, be young again, be young in spirit, be free. As adults, as we age and we kind of go through life experiences, we can become very uptight or just kind of rigid. And this can cause a lot of strife in our lives over time. As we tighten up and tighten up and tighten up and tighten up, we can become like bitter and just kind of stale. It can really just damage relationships that you have like with your spouse, especially if you used to be very vibrant and happy and more free and become 
just super stale and boring and dry. You can't take a joke. It pushes people away from you and it pushes you away from yourself. This can often impact like children. I hear a lot of teenagers talking about how they can't talk to their parents because they're so uptight they can't even take a joke. Maybe they'll try and show them a funny meme or try to just involve them in their life, but their parents can't even find it in them to smile or laugh or just be entertained and it hurts you. It hurts relationships. So let loose, be free. Okay, do something different, do something playful. Sometimes when you're around someone, a specific person, they just bring out the child in you and all of a sudden you just turn back to being seven years old. It brings out a different side of me and that is very beautiful as a woman. It's great to be just multifaceted, have different sides to you, be able to know when it's appropriate, to be free and silly and fun. Honestly, laughter is not to be underestimated. It is the best medicine. Ask anyone who's been sick or who's been down. If you're able to put on a comedy special, if you're able to laugh, you feel so good inside. It gives you life. It gives you purpose again. It just makes you feel alive. Laughter is free and you should allow yourself to have a little fun. Laugh a little. Stop being so serious all the time. You don't have to. And it doesn't hurt anyone but you. So heal yourself and allow yourself to be free and to enjoy life, to have fun. That's why you're here and you can't go back in time. You have to make the best out of every moment. Part of being free is also being comfortable with your body, being comfortable in the skin that you are in. Your body is sacred and your divine feminine energy lives within your body. So you have to treat your body with care, both externally and internally. But it's so important for you to be able to examine yourself, you know, take off your clothes and look at yourself and love every bit of you, regardless of what society says, what other people tell you. It's only what you tell yourself that matters. It's only about what you tell yourself. So stand in the mirror, give your body compliments, look at your face from all different angles, look at your body from all different angles, take pictures of yourself, look at your face. You would be surprised how many women are unable to stare at themselves for long periods of time. You know, just really examine their body, appreciate it, see the changes that the body has had within the last year, within the last five years. Look at just what your skin looks like, what your skin feels like, and take some time with yourself. That's very difficult for people because they don't want to recognize who they are. But you have to heal the disconnection with your body. Again, your body is sacred and once you really believe that, then you will not allow people to abuse it anymore. You will not allow people to misuse you anymore. You will not allow yourself to abuse yourself anymore. So you won't be overeating and over drinking and over overdoing it in all aspects of your body. You will be gentle, you will be careful, and you will inevitably be confident. And aside from all those things, when you spend time with your body, you're able to check and determine when things are off. That's how a lot of women are able to be preventative. They were able to catch a potential illness before it even started. Take that time with yourself where you are loving on yourself, examining yourself, and appreciating yourself. Okay, heal the disconnection with your body. This can also be enhanced when you dance. Everyone can dance, okay? You may not be able to dance on beat, but you can dance. You can loosen up that body and move it around and see what your body can do. Children do this all the time when they're learning their bodies. They make faces, they change their faces in all these funny ways to see what it looks like. They do all kinds of funny things with their body to see what their body can do. This just allows you to loosen up as a person in general. It helps to heal your body when you do this. So dance, put on some music and dance. Get loose, get free, have fun, okay? Heal the disconnection with your body. The fourth way that you can heal your divine feminine 
is by honoring your emotions and having good emotional awareness. As women in this society, we are allowed to express our emotions more so than our male counterparts. And you know, that's just kind of by society standards. It's acceptable for women to act out in an emotional way. But a lot of times we're taught that only certain emotions should be accepted honored, revealed, and that's like when you're happy, when you're in love, but not so much when you're angry or when you're sad or when you're disappointed or embarrassed. So we end up just shoving those emotions down and they actually most of the time lead to illnesses. And this is something that usually gets picked up as you get older. Unfortunately, because those feelings are still within you, not only in a physical manner, but in a mental and an emotional manner, it's still there. So you have to be able to identify how you feel and feel it. Live in that feeling, live in that emotion. I'm not saying act out, I'm saying feel it. Allow yourself to know I'm angry right now and allow that to be okay. Do not judge yourself for having feelings. We all have them. Everyone has them and it's necessary to feel them and to honor them. When you're able to have the discipline to honor your emotions, it helps you from having emotional outbursts. It allows you to be able to have the strength and the confidence to walk away from arguments. It also gives us the ability to overcome addictions. A lot of people tend to mask their feelings by drinking or overeating or smoking or being very promiscuous and having a lot of sex because they feel all of these things and they don't want to feel and so they mask. So when you're able to truly be free in your emotions, you're able to heal yourself and you will no longer have to rely on those things and those people to fill these voids. You can do it all on your own and avoid so much pain in life. Now, as a woman, I'm sure at some point you've heard the term a woman's intuition, that feeling that we get as women in our gut when we can just sense something is off or wrong or we have a certain inclination about something, this is something sacred and unique to you as a woman and it's an emotion that you should really embrace and honor. When you feel that something is wrong or someone is undermining you or something is happening and you're not feeling good about it, it's important for you to listen to those feelings. You were created with those feelings for a reason. They were given to you to protect you. They were given to you to make the right decisions and they can't be seen. They can't be rationalized because they're within you. And the more that you allow yourself to heal and to embrace and know and love yourself, the stronger you will feel these intuitions. So as a woman that's trying to channel the divine feminine, it is going to be crucial for you to honor your intuitions. Now, for the fifth way that you can heal your divine feminine is by creative expression. Allowing yourself to create. As a woman, we talked about this before, you are made to create. You create life, you beautify and bring warmth into spaces with your presence. So create, explore your talents. What are you good at? Enhance them. What have you always wanted to learn to do? Do it. You're never too old to learn something new. Learn to play the piano, have private lessons, Take a ballet class, take a dance class. You're not too old to learn how to do ballet. If you've always wanted to do it, try it out. You can develop and discover new strengths that you didn't realize you had. And it makes life so much more beautiful when you're tapping in to your creative channels. If you're truly stuck and don't know where to even begin with your creative life, you can try out different social yet creative and fun things like they have the paint and sip where you sip wine and you paint a picture and you can learn how to paint. 
take a culinary class and learn how to cook different meals from different cultures. Many cities offer classes for free within your community. Many cities have like a community center and you can learn how to speak a different language. You can learn how to knit and do all kinds of interesting things for free within your community. And the most important, important way to heal your divine feminine within the arena of expression and creativity is to discover your purpose. Why are you here? Everyone is here for a reason. You were not a mistake. Your life is meaningful. Your life is necessary here on this earth. But you need to discover what you're bringing to the table. What are you adding to this earth? Discover your purpose. Why are you here? What are you good at? And how can you bless people with that? How can you expand this world with that? Give us your gifts and you get gifts back. And so that's the most important thing that you can ever do is to determine what your purpose is. And if you're truly lost and you don't have any direction, you cannot figure out what your strengths are, what your purpose is, then pray about it. Ask for God to reveal your purpose to you. Ask him to show you. Ask him to lead you. Ask him to give you that faith, to trust that that is the right path for you and then Take a leap of faith and go down that path. Discover yourself, heal yourself, bless yourself and this world. I hope that this video was very helpful to you all and it can be the beginning of you healing yourself within and just really channeling your divine feminine energy. It is very necessary for you to realize who you are, why you're here and just get the most out of life. So take some time this week and do these things to help heal yourself and let me know how it goes. I thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram. This is my personal Instagram and you can also follow A Feminine Impression for giveaways. I'm doing one this week. So look out for a giveaway um, and just feminine content. So all links will be below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you all so much for being a part of my YouTube family. I hope that you're learning and you're growing and you're just becoming a more beautiful and happier person each and every day. I love all of you so much and I will see you in the next video. Big kisses to you all. Mwah. Peace, love, and light.